need some water. I need some more M and M's. Do we have more? I don't know. I think we ate them all the other episode. Andy, make a vending machine run. Oh, I got chocolate raisins. Everybody like chocolate raisins? Oh, raisins. God, no. They're raisins good. Raisins. I'm cool with no. that. They're good. No. Raisins all right, it's more for me. Chocolate covered pretzels? Yeah. Chocolate all right, I'm going to the vending machine. Cupcakes? <laughs> wait, wait, really? Yeah. Are you getting Snickers or M&M's? Let me, get, or? Let, well, let me get an order. What do people want? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Bring me a chocolate. Snickers. Chocolate. Snickers? Snickers. 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 I think I'm, I'm good. Snickers? No Snickers. Oh my gosh. Peanut I M&M's for him. He okay, likes peanut M&M's then. Peanut? Okay. I get peanut M&M's. All right. Snickers. I'll give you a dollar for my Snickers. I'm so excited. They have a vending machine right outside their apartment that they never use, and it's filled with delicious candy. I Yeah, I have, I have no excuse for I'm a <laughs> very, very healthy eater, but chocolate is my weakness. I have chocolate every single day. Like, there's not really? one day that goes like, by. a lot? Really? Or? Like... I eat dinner. I'll be back. Bye. 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 <laughs> we'll miss you. I don't know what's going on. All right, we just lost a member. Wait. Right, wait hold. For wait for it. Hold. I promise to not pull a grant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, All Andy. Right. Goodbye. Lock the door. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I want my Snickers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never mind. He's fine. All right. But, yeah. I every Like, I don't eat chocolate throughout the day. But it's like after I eat dinner, mm-hmm. I have to have chocolate. Like, really? It's like your even dessert? if it's just one chocolate chip, like I need chocolate. <laughs> what is a single to, like, chocolate satisfy chip? Satisfy me. If you eat, if you you eat, junkie. If you eat one, <laughs> I know chocolate. it's my addiction. I don't drink, I don't smoke, but chocolate, man. If you could, I could if go you to can, rehab for that. <laughs> if you eat like one, ch- if you specifically can eat one chocolate chip and then be like, props to you. That's enough, and then put it away. <laughs> I, you have the iron will. Like, I, I, I can't do that personally. Because like I, I'll try that and be like, oh, I'm just gonna have like this little handful right here. It's a little, little, and I'll just kind of nibble on it, and then and the bag is gone. Gone, <laughs> completely gone. My mom cupcakes, has cupcakes, oh. cookies, gone. Mm-mm. Go ahead. Sorry. So I'm sorry. My mom has this friend who gets like Christmas chocolate every year, and mm-hmm. it's like her favorite bar, but she only gets one a year. <laughs> so she makes it last the whole year. <laughs> oh every God. night she has like one nibble and then puts it back in the cupboard, oh. like wraps it up all pretty. Wow. And she, Why just, does it, she only get one? That's it's, terrible. It's, it's tradition. <laughs> oh my gosh. She has an iron will. That's crazy to me. Yeah, I don't know how she does it. I would just make him buy me more. Is she a monk? Does she sit on hot coals all day <laughs> in the meantime? No, she how just sits she... under a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> how does she do? Because like, there are times where it's like, I'll, I'll like, I'm ashamed to admit this, but I've like, like I've, I've been like, you know, watching TV, or whatever, and I've eaten like an entire bag of of like Doritos by myself. Oh yeah, like yeah. An hour. I mean, we've all done it. I, but I'm not. I'm not talking like. I mean, like the friggin' like the king size bag. Yeah. Yeah. Like on my lonesome. Like I'll reach back in. Like it just crumbs, and I'm like, oh no. You're like, what happened? Oh no! Please. To my bag. Please be more. No. What about French fries? Like people that can only eat oh. one French fry. How do you do that? Or oh. one piece of pizza? I myself no. can eat an entire piece of pizza. Nobody believes me, and it's so embarrassing Wait, when I have an entire piece. Of- I mean, pizza. Oh, okay. oh I was going to say, I could eat several <laughs> entire pieces of pizza. No, but it's like, I'll be at a party or something, and they'll order a gluten-free for me. Aw, how sweet. So someone will be like, oh, can I just have like one piece of No! <laughs> and then you slap that them away. That is me, literally. I'm like, <laughs> but you have like four other ones that you can eat. This one's just like the only one I can eat at this whole place. That's when I killed him, your honor. And I eat the whole thing, and nobody <laughs> believes me I can do it, but I can do it. I'm small but mighty. I can <laughs> down a piece of, or a whole pizza if Powerful. I wanted to. Do you guys remember when McDonald's had the bucket of fries? You guys? No. You don't remember that? Uh-uh. It was a long time ago. It was like when I was in elementary school, so I guess all of us were in elementary school. But <laughs> M- McDonald's for a while had the bucket of fries. It was wow. like, it, it was what its name was. It was like... A basically, bucket. yeah, it was basically two king size like orders, but just shoved in this huge, like red and yellow trough of French fries. <laughs> it was so bad, you guys. And I would like I I could regularly put one of those entire ones away and by myself. My favorite are the Five Guys ones where they give you like the little cup of fries and they put it in like a, a brown paper bag and then just fill that with fries <laughs> oh, as well. Yeah. I've God. never been to Five Guys. You know what, what? I hate In and Out. You don't like really? their French fries or Hold on, you're, like you're an styrofoam. Instagram model from Southern California. And I like pizza and, and not In and Out. I Whoa. hate In and Out. Hold up. 
I know. Thin ice right now, Paige. Very thin ice. Am I being kicked out? Well, we'll see. You might redeem yourself in a little bit, but right now, it's eggshells. I have to wait for my Snickers. I love (laughs) In-N-Out. In-N-Out is fantastic. It might be because my town got one. Everyone loves In-N-Out. Yeah. I mean, their milkshakes are okay. Their milkshakes are... Ooh, Paige. (laughs) Ooh, Paige. Johnny Rockets are the best. No, it's just because she hasn't had her Snickers yet. Yeah, I need You're not you when you're hungry. I'm hangry. (laughs) But there was, um... Oh, oh my gosh, you're my Annie. hero. Look, the vending machine even oh has God. Sour Patch Kids. So you can get your, like, sweet and your sour. And yeah. All like- right, guys, now you get to hear us crinkle for the next 25 minutes. <laughs> Followed by... Oh, God. All you ASMR fans out there will be happy. Dude, why has that gotten so big? I've seen so many people talking about that, like, the past couple weeks. I didn't know what it was until, like, a week ago. Really? What? What is a- it? ASMR? What is it? It's, like... I guess we're doing it now. All right. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Let's hear it's, this. I, f- I forget what the acronym stands for, but it it's It is like... Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now I know everything about it. I learned about it a week ago. It's like, you know when you like listen... To, I mean, it's not music because there's a different word for music. <laughs> it's music. But, yeah, but like apparently people hear something like whispering or like the... Lip sounds Ooh, like people are talking no. like really close to the mic. <sighs> it like it gives them like tingly feeling. Yes, it does. So there's like it. there's an entire market for that on YouTube of people just like brushing the mic or like cutting hair Ooh. or just like talking around you. It's, it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know why. It's basically like I've seen like there are ones where people are like just they're they're humming or not humming, but they're like talking about song lyrics while like touching crinkly paper. Oh, the like, blue double D. Oh yeah, that was the one. It's like I'm blue double D double D. Ooh, stop! And I, oh god, I think I it, whatever it is, I have it because I can't stand it. Mm-mm. Like it goes up my spine and then like out to yeah, my ears. I have it too. Ugh. That no. The not only okay. time I felt something like that was like this really old one at Disneyland. Where have you been in like the Abraham Lincoln area? No. In uh, Disneyland? They might have gotten rid of it. California Adventure. No, Disneyland, yeah. You mean like Frontierland? No, it's like an actual Abraham Lincoln exhibit. Never seen that. Okay, but <laughs> one of them, you put on these like stereo, like big headphones around your ears, and you're getting a haircut. But the way they recorded it with the mics, you can like hear people walking around you, and you can like hear the scissors, and it feels like somebody's giving you a haircut, and you can hear guys like walking past you behind you and like talking in your ear. And it's like the creepiest Ooh. thing, but coolest thing I'd ever heard. That's so weird. I can't even picture that. I might be online. I mean, John will show you when that's over. In the back of the head. <laughs> it's all part of the experience. Yeah. <laughs> the Abe Lincoln experience. But no. So, like, you know how whenever, like, you're walking around, sometimes, like, a like a mosquito or, like, a bug will, like, fly super close to your Ooh, ear. I hate that. And you hear that, like, buzz, that, like, zzz, and, like, one's by, and, like, ah! Yeah. It's the same feeling I get when I listen to those videos. Mm. I can't stand it. I hate that. Yeah. It's so bad. And these people get crazy views. I don't understand it. Crazy is like an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> How so? There's like hundreds of them, and they all have like a couple hundred thousand subscribers, and I'll get like millions of views per video of just what? some. Hey, how are you doing today? Ugh. No. Oh, God. <laughs> T- today oh, yeah. I will be rubbing my troll dolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, I guess. Spicy. You just got a cool thing. Mine just says Snickers. <laughs> oh, I know. I was sleepy. Never mind. <laughs> I'm feisty. I, I was... guess that kind of fits me today. I think yeah, so. I was sleepy today. I was kind of feisty. Yeah. I was kind of sleepy, too. You take a nap, too? Yeah. Twinning. Mm. Snickers buds. You guys are meant to be. So. Aw. Aw. I was. <laughs> right in his bay. Yep. <laughs> Aw. You guys are great. So. Back to the ASMR thing really quick. So, how, like in my mind, this is a, it's, it's, it's a sexual thing. Like it has to be. Meridian means orgasm. It does? It doesn't. But oh. the guy <laughs> named it that because he thought it means orgasm. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Okay, so the guy who like coined the term ASMR, mm-hmm. he didn't want it to be he didn't want to say the word orgasm in it. So he's like, hmm, meridian means orgasm. So he, he put it in there, and it, it doesn't mean orgasm. What does it mean? <laughs> Do we know what it means? It's like... Meridian. Like, like there's the, a meridian 
prime meridian. There's the yeah, meridian like, in the the road. Oh, it's like, like a divider, middle. right? Yeah. The I middle. Thought, I thought that was the median. Oh, there's yeah. like median. Oh, it could we be have the like the meridian prime meridian too. is like the equator kind of. Oh, uh, okay. I see where you're going. I don't know. I, it's not connected. It's like not it's, orgasm. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> I guess that you know. I guess if you if you gone with orgasm, it might have been a little on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> props to him, props to him for trying. Uh, so how you been, Andy? You been good? I, I know, know you've been like, a bit quiet. I was just I don't know like I feel like He's I been shouldn't for a while. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't say it. But I'll bring it up. As, well, soon, okay. as soon as Braden said equator, I ins- insulate. <laughs> I was I was looking at you thinking you were gonna do something. No. Should I? Should I? I'm doing it now. What? All right. So this is I don't know. I'm as out of the loop as you are. Sorry. The Snickers thing. Mm-hmm. Me and Andy have known each other for a while, so we have like these trigger words. One of them is equator. Trigger words. And so um Andy calls me like God, a long time ago. This is probably back in like elementary school. Elementary school, if not, you know, around that time. And we're talking about hanging out. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, wh- like, where are you right now? He's like, I don't know. I got to look at a map. <laughs> so you like, pull out your Thomas guide. <laughs> I was like, Andy, where are you at? Hold on. I'm going to look at this map. I'm map on my map on my wall. On my wall. <laughs> California. He's like, okay, man. Oh, I'm near. Oh, I'm near Ecuador. He's like. You know, it's kind of weird. Like, like the, the equator kind of looks like Ecuador. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, that is Ecuador. <laughs> they mistook the word equator for Ecuador. Dude, look on the map. They look, they sound, they look like they sound phonetically the same. <laughs> are they close to each other on a map? I yeah, hope so. Is Ecuador like on the yeah, equator? The Ecuador lies on the equator. Okay. Thank God, because that's the only thing saving you from that particular thing. That's the only thing saving you. At least I think it does, and I'm going to go with it so I don't look totally stupid right now. Yep. But why were you in Ecuador? Or on the yeah. equator? Oh, I have no idea. Because <laughs> little kid brains can go anywhere. M- imagination. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Dude, I was an only child, imagination. man. Imagination. I was an only child. Imagination. I'd go on like... Imagination. <laughs> I'd go on like five-hour adventures in my backyard with like fake swords and a cape. It was so much fun. By himself. By myself. I'd be oh. every character. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fight yourself? Yeah. Did you win? I mean, I, I, yeah. His parents would come <laughs> home confused like, Matt, why do you have a black eye? <laughs> I beat myself up, Mom. <laughs> I beat the dragon, Mom. <laughs> We're safe tonight. <laughs> Man, it was so great. I love those times. I'd still be doing that if it was socially acceptable. <laughs> We've yeah, got a backyard. You can't do that it's anymore. Not, that is not. You guys a... are gonna come home, and Matt's out there with his cape, what or the his hell? wings, saying "scraw." Yeah, now he just dances. <laughs> Look there, witchcraft! I'm in full-on like regalia because now I could buy like actual armor with my Ooh. big big kid money. Yeah, but all the people big in the in the second story and the people making like in the like barbecues like. Well, they're not in the barbecues, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, God. Standing near the barbecues where it's elevated, they can all see you, and so. So. Yeah. But not you there, so. squire! <laughs> <laughs> Pass it me some of the mead in your sh- flagon of ale, and one of those those animal parts you're grilling. What's a flagon? A flagon, I believe, is a, a unit of measurement for mead. I think it's like a big, <laughs> it's like a big cask of of mead. All these old. Yeah. Measuring I think you were groups. born in the wrong era. I think so too. I would love to have been a Viking. <laughs> I would love to have been a I Viking. I would have loved to have been born in, or like, lived my teenage years in the 80s. Really? You're in the I 80s? I think my hair would have just been <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> Huge. Yeah. With the hot pink, like, jumpsuits, you know? Yeah, Sneakers. And you kind of already dress like you're Dancing. from then. Leg warmers. Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> but my hair is, like, naturally super curly. It's like a fro. Really? So I wouldn't have to straighten it or anything. I just That's walk straightened out. hair? Well, I straightened it and then curled it. Oh, okay. Uh, um, <laughs> girls are confusing. <laughs> no, my hair is not naturally, like, I straightened changed. it and changed my mind. <laughs> Any girl listening to this will understand. And any guy listening will not. <laughs> we'll be oh, so confused. Paige, I, I, I love your opinition. You think girls are listening to this show? We confusing questions We have girls. Nicole oh. watches this. And I Andy's mom. Oh, and my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Two. 
ladies. <laughs> All right. I got I got questions for you. Yeah. Ask uh, me questions that confuse you about females. Okay. So here's one. It's about like, so let's say you're at, you know, a bar and yes. there's, and there's like a, a girl you want to talk to, right? But you, again, you've never spoken to her before and you have to walk up cold. You're doing the cold approach, right? Yeah. How do you do that? And not be weird. If I were creepy. you? Well, like, from a girl's perspective, like, what is something a guy could walk up to you and say that wouldn't be creepy or off-putting? Or hey, just be like... how's your night going? R that's it? Nothing like, oh, what brings you here? Like, <laughs> no. Hey, girl. Just like, hey, what's up? How's your night going? You Good evening, really, fair maiden. <laughs> really casual and chill. Not like, what brings you here? Can I buy you a drink? Pass me a you flag look hot. of like, no. mask of your mead. <laughs> Okay, you see, like, that's what everyone always says, but I feel like, in my mind anyway, like, I'm so used to seeing, um, you know, just the tropes of, like, the guy walks up and he's like, hey, beautiful, you but come he here probably often? says it like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but and I just he, think, like, like, licks her ear and... Yeah, it does something weird. I mean, either that or he leans in, like, too close. There yeah. has to be, like, body language, too. You I know, so. if she's, like, still facing the bar and just looks at you and... Mm -hmm. You should probably leave. I guess, <laughs> <laughs> you're not welcome here. I just think because what it is is like, I feel like you were so conditioned to be like, if a guy comes up and talks to a girl in any like, in any time, she'll she'll be like, oh, he's just talking to me, with me to to flirt with me. Like he's yeah, like especially at a bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like, <laughs> how do you how do you get over that? Like how I do you like overcome that stigma? I'd just be really casual about it. Pretend like you're ordering a drink. Say, hey, what's up? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. That, I came really? here with my friends. I'll be over there. Have a good night. And if she walks over there and is like, hey. Oh. Remember me? I don't when know do I tell her? Kind of like you're inviting her over. <laughs> when be do like, I? Hey, if you want to come hang with us, like we're over there. Paige, but when... not like don't bombard her like one on one, you know? Yeah, but when do I tell her I love her? That's date oh, number wow. two. Oh, <laughs> wow. Her when she, when she comes already. over, <laughs> yeah. When she comes over to your group, confess mm -hmm. your love, propose right then and there. When do I tell her? Once she's come over, that means she's showing interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is that? When I tell her she smells really nice. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah? Oh yeah. Okay. Don't listen to anything. I like to Matt lead with that. Right but <laughs> lead with that. Okay. And then I ask for her hair, right? You don't have to ask. No. Okay, that's right. That's perfect. <laughs> you, it's, you showed you interest. Just take yeah. A just take. Because it's take. showing that you're taking initiative now. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I That's like it. That's what they want. They want. They don't want like the shy, timid guy. They want the guy to like be who like, takes charge and <laughs> takes hair, <laughs> who confidently <laughs> takes their hair. Okay, locks got it. it off. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Paige, can we can we try an activity real quick? Uh -oh. Yeah. So I want I want to run some some like guy lines by you. Okay. And I want to see how you, like if you would give it a yay or nay as a girl. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do so this. I'm gonna set the scene. Are these real quick. like pickup lines? You'll see. <laughs> So we're, I'll set the scene, right? It's it's a we're at, we're at a bar, right? It's not super like popping. I've you never know. been to a bar, but right. I'm imagining it. All right, you know? so I'll, I'll paint the scene for you. So you're <laughs> at a bar, right? You're with some of your friends, like let's say two of your best friends. You can mm -hmm. think of them right now. It's not really packed. It's kind of casual, right? Everyone's having a good time. It's not really loud. There's some sports on the TV, right? Yeah. It's a very relaxed vibe. And then you know, you're sitting in the bar, and then a guy walks up, walks up next to you, right? And he looks at you and he says, "So, you're a girl, huh?" <laughs> I'd be like, hey, yeah, last time I checked. I just kind of give him like a dumb answer back. <laughs> and he says, that's nice. I'd say like, oh, wait, this is what I'd say. If he oh, said, yeah. you're a girl, huh? So I'd be like, you're a boy, huh? <laughs> and then if he said that, yeah. I'd be like, and then bye. Oh, oh, that one didn't work? No, it's the tone of voice you're doing it in. Yeah, if you're doing the creeper like, voice. If he was being like, fun and like just joking around i'd like joke around with it is know? there a right way to do that like it's like hey you're a girl right i'd be like yeah no Deb, no because i feel right? like that's like you genuinely can, like, asking <laughs> <laughs> you can like play around with a joke yeah i mean you know all right new one all right different one okay all right is same it's gonna be a creepy voice again no i'll be this will be regular this will be this will be as if i were to actually say it right okay so you walk up all right uh, excuse me, I uh, I believe you owe me a drink because when I saw you walk in, I spilled mine. <laughs> I'd be like, good one, you're funny. Uh, yeah, good, yay or nay? I mean, like... Is that followed by a bye? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably.
probably. Oh. Depending on like, you know, who you are. I don't know. If it's like a 60 year old man, I'd be like, <laughs> good one. Funny. Bye. Or someone who's homeless. Yeah. It's just, oh. there are a lot of factors that play into it. For me, I feel they, like they I'm a pretty like accepting person. Mm-hmm. I feel like it takes courage to do that. Yeah. So even if it's like a really stupid line, they probably just like haven't gotten a girl in a long time. So I'm like, oh, I, I yeah, love you. I probably uh. won't give you my number, but I'll like play along with it. We'll be friends or something maybe in another life. But, you know, <laughs> so, there's, so you're telling me there's hope. <laughs> yeah, just don't use those like cheesy lines. Like, um, if, don't are use you a library voice. book? Because I just checked you out. Like, no, Ooh, that was a good one. I'm gonna write no. that down. No, don't use that. Matt. <laughs> I can totally see you using that. <laughs> Hey, girl, is there a kick in your pants? Because I want to tap that ass. Ooh. What? <laughs> but no, not that one either? No. Right. I would All just right. like be like, hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your response to that one? No. I'm Perfect. saying from your perspective, oh. from the guy's perspective, if they like really are interested in a girl and want to get to know her, I'd be like, hey, I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Okay. I like your outfit. That's you not, look nice. That's not fun, though. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there's no you sport could, in that. You that's could, not you the could, game. Like, say something fun or funny without it being like a really stupid pickup line. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What if it's a sad pickup line? What if, <laughs> what if I make you feel really bad for then me? Then I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Here's a tissue. <gasps> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, girl, you want to share an Uber home? Because I don't have any money. <laughs> I'd be like, here's the tissue. <laughs> Dramatic pause. Bye. <laughs> Paige, you're so hard to get. No, I just... playing hard to get. I'm really not. Yeah, she just gave you what to do. I just in yeah. situation, you. It's and you're just telling like, her what if so a girl came get? up to you and said something stupid like that, you know? I wouldn't know what to do. Like if she said, <laughs> hey, yeah, let's share an Uber. I've never met you in my entire life. I don't know your first name. But I'd, I'd, but I'm poor, so I'd, 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 I'd be like, oh God, girls talking to me. Uh, say something clever. <laughs> say some say something cool. Uh, hi. Ah, oh, fuck. Hello. What if it's like a sixty year old woman? Uh, well, then I don't know what she's doing at this club, but <laughs> I guess it's fine. I thought we were at a bar. She came with her grandkids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's the center of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Got those titanium hips. <laughs> nice. Can roll with the best of them. <laughs> You know, I I wouldn't know what to do. If, I mean, it's if, a very uh, interesting situation. Like At my work, I've had guys ask me for my number all the time. Really? Yeah. Where do you work? Sunglass Hut. Oh, that's right. You do work there. Yeah. And guys will always ask me for my number. They try to go about it like cool ways. Like, hey, can I text you like when I'm coming in so then you could get commission? Oh. And I'm like, oh, ah. I, I'm sorry. I actually can't have my phone out during work. And they're like, why don't you just tell me your number? I'm like... Because I don't oh. like you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't really like I'm I can't give out my number. Mm-hmm. I'm going through a phone change thing right now. I'm Amish. <laughs> I don't have it memorized. I don't have a telephone. <laughs> Did they put the sunglasses on first before well, they say that? Well, I do that? a lot of the time if guys ask me for my number, if, I, if I'm not into them, I'm like, why don't you put it in my phone? And then I don't oh. text them. So then, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting on some text messages from a lot of people that way. <laughs> so you're telling me they're not so going to text any girls, me? if there are any creepy girls that like come up to you and are like, hey, can I get your number? You're like, here, why don't you give me your number? And then they're like, yes. <laughs> I'm putting it in his phone. Like he definitely is going to save this because I just saved it for him. And he'll say, oh, yeah, I'll call you. Like, mm-hmm. let's hang out sometime. She'll leave. You go, delete. <laughs> <laughs> but that's um, like well, i don't really do that all the time it's just mm-hmm. for like people that i don't know or like get bad vibes from yeah you don't want to like give out your personal information that is true mm-hmm. and stalkers <laughs> they're a real thing yeah <laughs> it's not just insta stalking it's like stalk stalking mm-hmm. is a real thing yeah